started off with just like an empty field. The RU group was the ones that designed the whole wildlife area in the first place. And now it's come into an area where we can come out and work and like just use it a bit more often than just staying in the classroom. The World Tracks project's been going on since June 2017. It's all about young people working together to help wildlife. We're working with um, young people aged between 11 to 18. Um, so we're working with sort of two age groups within that, so younger, younger age groups that we work with in schools and with youth groups, and an older age group that we also work with in schools and youth, youth groups, but can also come and join our project um, separately and work on their own projects with us. The Wildlife Trust have been absolutely amazing. They've come in, they've done afternoon sessions, they've come in during the day, they've brought their reserves team in to help do a lot of the groundwork and just their actual educational experience has been amazing because you know there's a lot of things that I've never done before I've never grown a tomato before you know going coming out here and doing a whole allotment their understanding of how to do it properly has been great so I couldn't have done this without the wildlife trust planted a lot of vegetables back there and we um, had the opportunity to like harvest them and eat them as well yeah it tastes so much better and it's really strong because we had carrots and we tried them and they were so much stronger than store-bought carrots we were like so surprised but yeah it's a lot nicer and healthier <laughs> This is a partnership project between um, Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust and the Hearts and Middlesex Wildlife Trust and the Natural History Museum at Tring. The reason why we partner is because we all share a same aim and that is to engage those young people and connect them with nature. Um, the benefits of partners is partnerships is to share resources and share our knowledge. We also share our, our, um, our skills and our other partners so we can actually add value to this project. We've done things that they never could do. So one of the things that really sticks out is uh, doing owl pellet dissections. Would never have done that without the Wildlife Trust and the help of Claire and Kate. It's been brilliant. I've learned a lot from being in this club, like different types of insects, different types of bugs, different types of what like they have in common. And, um, and it's also like where we can come after school and just hang out with our friends as well while helping the environment. I feel really proud that we're, we're like, we've helped create this space for all animals and insects. Effectively, what we're trying to do at Bebel is um, promote a future where wildlife is, wildlife thrives and is valued by all. And that's where our people engagement side of things come into it. Because um, what we aim to do is teach people about nature and help them value nature too. Because without doing that, people won't care and people will only protect what they care about. So that's what we're aiming to do. Yes, yeah, so it's been fantastic being able to work with the schools and um, the young people, I think, really appreciate the opportunity to do some learning in an outdoor setting. Um, I think young people really benefit from working outside of the classroom. We've had one of the greatest things, in my opinion, about this project is that some of the young people who have thrived most whilst overcoming conservation challenges are those who've really struggled in the classroom. So that's been really, really lovely to see and very rewarding. Because ultimately we want the young people to be have better communication skills, better teamwork, be able to cooperate, all the skills that employers are looking for. And they want people to be well-rounded and have good well-being and exercise well and have good mental health because then they stay in their jobs as well. So it, you know, it's all round a, a good partnership to be involved in. I've got a big passion for animals and would like to work with them in the future. To get the whole school yeah. community involved, like the local community, we've made videos, um, we've showed people what we've done and people have been interested in that and then we've just gone from there and see what everyone else wants to help us and we've <coughs> taken that on board and, and used what we have. We now know that repetitive visits um, to school to, it, to actively engage people is really, really valuable. Um, and also some of the legacy too is to actually work with the partners that have come on board over the period of the of the project such as NCS for example um, and we will continue work with those guys each year to enable more young people to get outdoors and benefit from nature. It's been a lot of work but when you see the finished product you just can't help but smile and I can't wait to bring my own classes out here and get other subjects to come out here it's just going to be amazing. 
we want to be able to see like once we move on and once we leave school we want the rest of the school or like the community around to help uh, carry on building this to be like, the best possible place it can be like we only have one earth we can't really just make a new one so it's just yeah it's very important